It's the 24th today, it's so day 24 of training every day with no, no days off. Uh, like I said yesterday, I came to the gym today with the mindset of squat, deadlift, bench press. Initially started off with some deadlifts, um, but just warm, like just warming up with the bar did not feel well, so I put it aside and I just put that away. Just didn't want to risk it. I'll come back to them tomorrow. Um, I did. I did spend about 20 minutes warming up and stretching, but something just didn't feel right. Lower back, like not nothing, nothing painful, no jarring pains or anything. But I just I didn't have a good feeling, so I, I stayed away from it. I put the bar down, or put the bar up, and I started doing squats instead. Um, which, on the other hand, felt really good. That uh, left-sided hip tightness is pretty much gone. I've, I've sort of figured that I just need to add a few different stretching varieties in and really make sure I'm, I'm working through my hip flexors. Um, also the use of um, a massage gun as well, digging in and around my hips has been quite effective in just relieving the tension um, and the aches in there. I don't know if it's uh, delayed muscle soreness or something like that, so maybe I'll feel it tomorrow. Uh, after doing these squats today, but uh, for the moment, I think I've I've got it down pat. I think it was it was just a lot of tightness in my hip flexors um, previously. So I think probably more for from my cool downs from when I'm running or doing squats afterwards. Um, so tonight I'll go back. I'll do some more stretching, and I'll see how that goes. I st stretched twice yesterday. So I stretched in the morning before work and then, then before my run in the afternoon or uh, the evening. So legs are feeling really good today. It's a shame the deadlifts didn't come off, but that's, it is what it is. You can't go, can't go silly and just push yourself into an injury like that. So I'll hit deadlifts tomorrow. Um, and if I'm still feeling a little bit hesitant there, I'll just hit them light. I'll hit them very light. Um, but just to sort of keep that range of motion and keep that movement sort of firing in my uh, muscle memory. But uh, yeah, look, squats squats felt good. It took me a while to get into into the groove of things. Um, I was sort of just happy with doing 60 kilos at five reps. I did one lot of 70 kilos at five reps for deeper squats. Um, oh no, sorry, 80 kilos, 80 kilos um, at deeper squats. And then I mixed up the sort of pin squats. I put a bench behind me and I just squatted onto the bench and I squatted up, so limiting my range of motion so I couldn't get too deep into the squat and just working on the sort of final movements to finish the squat in that last sort of drive phase. Uh, once your, your sort of glutes have come past your uh, knees and firing through your hips as well which I thought might be another thing to sort of strengthen my hips a little bit and get my hips sort of firing through that last phase that's also where I'm thinking that soreness could be coming from from maybe a deficit there if I'm trying to squat deep because uh, when I'm squatting deep like down down at the bottom I feel really good I feel really strong through the glutes there and powering through the quads uh, but maybe it's that last sort of couple inches where I'm you know should be sliding my hips in uh, that might have a deficit. So I did some pin squats and I just sort of mixed it around from the pin squats. So I did 100 kilos for the pin squats. Um, and then uh, for my deep squats, I just did 60 kilos. Just getting used to 60 kilos again and squatting deep. And I'll, It will be a slow build um, to get my weight up on the squats. It, it won't be fast. It will be a slow build. I will be really mindful in how I'm looking after my legs and my lower body and monitoring this, this in and out hip hip groin pain that I get. Uh, but this seemed to be an effective session. Unfortunately the GoPro ran out of SD space with about three more sets to go. Um, so it didn't didn't get any of the um, it didn't get the last couple sets of squats and then it just missed my bench press session completely out. Um, which wasn't anything too crazy. I did um, incline press with incline press with um, 
what is it, 10 either side, so it's 20 and 24, so a 40 kilo incline press for four sets of um, 10. And then I did the just normal flat bench press. We worked my way up to 60 kilos and then just did five sets of eight with 60 kilos. Uh, well, sorry, four four sets of four sets of eight with 60 kilos, and then the last set was 10, just trying to max out a little bit and just do a few more reps. Um, bench also wasn't moving as well as I thought. I felt like last time I benched, which would have probably been on my last lot of days off before going back to work, that I felt like the benching 60 kilos and it was really comfortable. And I was moving it really well and I was engaging my chest and I was dissing, you know, not engaging my shoulders too much. And my triceps felt really good at the end, straightening out. But today, I just sort of felt like I was stuck um, mid push off the chest. I don't know if it was just if it was because I trained incline first and then went to, you know, flat bench. Um, whereas maybe if I did flat bench first, I might have yeah, maybe had a bit more energy reserves there. Um, so yeah, didn't move quite well, but like stuck with the weight, got the reps, but it was it was uh, it was hard to hit those eight reps. It wasn't wasn't like it normally is where I feel like I can do twelve reps um, before I feel like I'm maxing out. I was hitting eight reps, and I thought you know, getting to nine or ten, I'm sort of maxing out there. Uh, and look in between, you know, like I mentioned before, doing these loo raises my helping my shoulder, you know, shoulder pain, shoulder mobility, and also you know secondary effects on my back as well have been amazing and I find they're just a really good exercise to do something in between sets. I've mentioned before that I'm a bit of an impatient person and when I'm doing heavy lifts I hate the rest period. I hate having to sit there for three, four, five minutes and just rest in between sets, especially 100 kilo pin squats. This is the first time in a while I've had 100 kilos on my back on the barbell. So after a while I just, like my CNS felt fried sitting here this afternoon I feel a little bit little bit fried it's a couple hours after that I'm recording the voiceover um, so I find that doing these loo raises in between the sets allows me to let my legs and my lower body and all the muscles associated with squatting rest whilst I can do these loo raises and then by the time I do the loo raises I give myself a couple more minutes after the loo raises and then I go back to the squats so I think it just gives me a couple more minutes rest that I probably wouldn't normally have or would be struggling to have because I'm impatient. Um, so I think that's probably important for me moving forward is if I can find some sort of filler exercises to do in between uh, that don't detriment the exercise being worked out at the time will be beneficial. But look, you can see I was pretty knackered, 100 kilos first time on my back doing the pin squats. Um, but look, deadlifts tomorrow, we'll be hitting deadlifts tomorrow. Hopefully I can hit them hard, I'll, I'll do a lot of warming up, a lot of stretching first. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.